Hey, what's up? And welcome back to this video. Uh, today, we're gonna be going over some stuff that you really need to pay attention to so you can crush and dominate your goals in 2021. Um, I'm gonna mention some books that I read in 2020 that have helped me out a lot. And uh, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Drop any questions, comments, or any topics you want me to cover in my next video. Watch me pop off on Warzone. Finally got a win on the new Warzone map, which was fun have had a little bit of extra time to play with the holidays and whatnot and just took some time to rest. And um, anyway, with that being said, just want to talk about some things so you can crush it in 2021. So one of the big things that I've learned early on um, from starting my own business is that you need to just learn as much as possible. You need to invest in yourself. You need to learn. If you're starting off from scratch, invest in yourself. Buy a book, watch YouTube videos, uh, listen to a podcast, buy a course, do something just to invest in yourself. Even if you don't get anything out of it, um, like money specifically, even if you get no money out of it, no return on investment, invest in yourself. It's one of the most important things you can do. And with that, some of the books that I've read this year that have really helped me out that I've invested in myself with, um, I'm kind of going to rattle some of them off and just break down some key concepts from all of them. Man Up by Bedros Koulian, Relentless by Tim Grover, the Ultimate Sales Machine by Chet Holmes. That's one that I've revisited a few times. I got it a few years ago. Traffic Secrets by Russell Brunson. Rest by Alex Sujong Kim Peng. Hope I got that right. And Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. I revisited that, revisited that one as well. Um, on top of Unstoppable by Craig Ballantyne and Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss and a few other ones. But... The point is, you really need to invest in yourself. Whether it's something as simple as a book, you need to invest in yourself. And most of those across the board, you know, for me, a lot of them talked about leadership, overcoming mindset issues, and then sales. And I'm going to start with sales because I think that's one of the most important things that anyone really can learn first, whether they're just starting off or they're kind of at, at a really good point in their business or in their life. Sales is a big thing because if you don't know how to sell, you really can't do anything else at all. Um, learning how to sell and how to do it effectively is really important. And if you want to start anywhere, learning a skill, learn how to sell. And I don't mean sleazy salesman tactics and trying to sell like that. I mean really just trying to figure out if, if, you, if you are able to sit down with someone, determine their pain points, and be able to develop a, a solution for them that will help solve their pain points in both an emotional, financial, um, and just whatever aspect of their life they need it solved in, and be able to really just dig deep on that pain and help across the board. So Ultimate Sales Machine, that book's really good, but across the board, just figure out how to sell and do it right, not tacky, uh, cheesy sales tactics. Second one, being a leader. If you want to accomplish your dreams, crush your goals in 2021, you need to be a leader. Being a leader is really difficult. It's probably the most difficult thing that I've had to come up with um, and, and deal with as being a business owner and as being a successful business owner. Just this past year, my business flew past six figures and it's been awesome. I've been really grateful. The toughest thing has been the leadership aspect of things, being able to delegate, being able to say, hey, you help me with this. And then I don't give proper instructions or whatever it is, becoming a leader and being an effective leader is pretty difficult. I'm getting the hang of it, getting a lot better at it and, and starting to lead a lot more effectively. But like I said, whether you're a beginner or you're completely crushing it, you're a good point in life or you have a really good business, be figuring out how to be an effective leader is really important because you're going to be able to apply leadership across your life no matter really what you do, whether you are a business owner or not. Um, so being an effective leader, Man Up by Bedros Cooley, and that's a great book to read if you want to do that, as well as Relentless, I'd say. Um, and that kind of ties in to my next topic, which is mindset. Mindset, I'd say it, it's kind of underestimated in a sense, right? A lot of people will talk about mindset, 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 having a good mindset, being able to, you know, conquer certain things with your mindset conquer anything with your mindset is really important but you know when push comes to shove a lot of people don't do it or that's the only thing they'll do so with mindset and having a good mindset you want to practice it you also want to learn it um 
but you can't just focus on that. You got to actually make sure you take action on whatever your goals are, but start to build up a resilient mindset. You got to be able to handle the, st the tough stuff. And what I'd really recommend is just the baseline of anything mindset, what's been helping me out a lot in 2020, and I know it's going to help me in 2021, is just concentrating on what you can control. If you can control it, that's what you need to concentrate on. Because if you can't control it, there's no, there's no reason to try fight it. You know, you can't control it anyway. So that's a big one. On top of that, um, Traffic Secrets by Russell Brunson and being able to sell not only in person or with, with a person directly, but being able to do it online, whether you're an influencer, whether you're a business owner, whether you're just a regular person, being able to build that influence online is really, really important. So if you wanna build influence, build a business and make an impact, being able to build that traffic source and sell online is really important. Anyway, I know this was a bit of a quick video, filming this around Christmas, so Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays if you're seeing this. Hope these topics helped out. Crushed it, got first place in Warzone, took forever. But make sure you go out there, take action, work on your mindset, sell like crazy, and keep crushing it so you can crush your goals in 2021. Talk soon. Take a seat, you cannot stand it. All I know the flow harder than a scotch bunny. Don't try studying me, you cannot manage. This ain't what you want, bitch. I'm a fucking phenomenon.